From science to science fiction, wormholes seem to be a pretty interesting topic. After all, it's no wonder we see it everywhere from DC Comics to Star Trek. But within the last 30 years, interest in wormholes have tremendously increased, leaving us wondering how exactly do these odd pockets in space even work, and will humans end up traveling through one eventually? Imagine walking down the street and coming across what seems to be a tear in space, a hole if you will. You then step into this hole and find out it can transport you anywhere in space-time. That is what a wormhole is. Wormholes themselves are a paradox. Their anatomy is so simple, consisting of two mouths connected by a throat or tube, yet their function, connecting two different points in space-time, a rather complicated phenomena. Let's say here on Earth we wanted to find a route to GNZ11, a roughly 14 billion year old galaxy which rests 32 billion light years from Earth, making it one of the most distant galaxies. A wormhole would basically be like a bridge or tunnel which would allow us to take a shortcut and save us the huge trip. So how exactly does passing through a wormhole work? Strictly speaking, a wormhole is a tube with a black hole at one end and a white hole at another end. Before we progress any further, let's first take a look at what a white hole is. We all heard of a black hole, a hole in the fabric of space-time in which objects can enter but can't exit. Well now imagine a region of space where an object can exit but can't enter. That's what a white hole is essentially. The inside or the throat of the wormhole is stabilized by a sphere of exotic matter, which you can learn about in my previous video. Anyways, the exotic matter pushes against the walls of the throat and thus keeps the wormhole from collapsing in on itself. So now that we know some of the features of a wormhole, we can already begin to see some obvious flaws, starting with the fact that since at one end of the wormhole there is a white hole, and at the other end a black hole, objects can only enter and go one way. So if we wanted to go back to Earth, we would have some trouble doing that. But that problem doesn't seem so bad. After all, assuming that we have already become advanced enough to make one wormhole, we could just make another wormhole with the black hole end at the destination and the white hole end near the Earth. However, don't forget that we have to open a black hole on or near our planet, which comes with some pretty obvious risks. In addition, we're not even sure about the existence of negative energy, which is a point I have made clear in previous videos. However, not all seems lost, for wormholes may exist, just not at the size you expected. Look around you, what do you see? It just looks like the normal calm empty space you're familiar with. However, if you could shrink down to a really tiny size, and I'm talking tinier than an atom, its nucleus, and the protons, neutrons, quarks, and gluons, you would see empty space in a whole new light. Instead of the everyday serenity you're used to, you would see particles popping in and out of existence which we call virtual particles. However, it's not just the virtual particles you'll find among the chaos. Many scientists also believe you'd also find wormholes which constantly transition in and out of existence just like the virtual particles. Thanks to this idea, the system could be scalable, allowing for objects like people to go through. However, our current technology doesn't allow us to explore the scales these subatomic wormholes supposedly exist on. So at the end of the day, while wormholes seem like an awesome way of traveling, it just remains a dream of what will hopefully come in the future to us. Until then, we will have to keep on trying to find a way to make our dream a reality. I hope you really enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not. And stay tuned for more science videos to come up. Also feel free to help yourself to some free HD wallpapers I put up on my website, link in the description below.